Hi everyone! Welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. I am really excited to bring you this video. This is my own creation um, and I'm happy to share it with you. So what we'll be using today is the silver water decals and I'm going to show you a super quick and easy way to color these in using gel nail polish and I think you guys are going to completely love it. So let's let's get started. Today I'll be using Wave Gel's um, Shiny No Clean Top Coat and Base Coat and I'll be using Clean Slate and I'll be using these Hibiscus Water Decals from She Modern and they are the Silver Matte. Okay, I've already applied um, the water decals and I've sealed um, with a top coat my other nails. This is the exact same placement and um, you know basically everything except for the base color of my other video. So I chose just to skip that. Um, so if you if you haven't seen my other video and you need to know how I you know put these water decals on then you can go over there what I basically wanted to do is just kind of skip that and show you how to color these in um, these actually do work the best um, over dark colors I did um, try testing out some silver ones over I think it was more of a lighter color and they just they don't show up real well they show up really good over dark so um, the next step is just to top coat them. So I'm just going to put the top coat on and then I am going to cure that and then we'll get into the coloring. Okay, so I'm using my gel watercolor um, alcohol method. So I have a little bit of alcohol in here and I've got some gel polish here and I've got a fine um, brush right here. So what I do is I dip the, um, the brush in the alcohol. You might need, you're gonna need a paper towel handy just to um, dab off any excess um, that you might have on there. So basically you dip it in the alcohol, you kind of swirl it around in a little bit of the um, gel. It depends on how light you want it or how dark you want it. So then all you're gonna do is you're going to color in the silver parts in the center of the flower. I'm just gonna color over that with the gel polish. Now, if you make a mistake, it is no big deal. You can just wipe it off with alcohol um, because you've already put a top coat on it and cured it. So this isn't actually going to hurt the foil underneath at all. The thinner the brush, the better. And I do like this method of coloring in the flowers. No, I think that looks so awesome. <laughs> and it's so easy. We can either do, we can either, we can even do this little one on top. You can do whatever part of the flower that you want. And if after you get it filled in, you don't like it, you can always um, can always wipe it off. Oh, let's see. To get those teeny little dots, we're probably going to need something a little bit finer than this brush. <laughs> So what I did is just dot the dotting tool on top. For these teeny little bitty parts. Let's 
Let's go fill in this while I'm at it. Okay, and then I'm going to take the brush and color in the rest. I think I'm going to take the dotting tool and just dot the stem. There. So now I'm going to cure this and um, then we'll come back and top coat it a little bit of bling we can um, use a glitter hollow polish and I put that on the tin foil and we can use the um, ball part of the dotting tool and we can just dot some hollow glitter in the center And they'll give it a little blingy look. And then if you wanted to give your other nails a little bling, you could put some hollow dots. on your other nails. I like to do kind of like a bigger dot and then a smaller dot right above. I got that technique from my friend, um, Glitter Nails for me, which is now Glitter Lips and Tips. <laughs> um, but I really like how that looks. And that one's a little close, so I'm just going to wipe it off. Oops. <clears throat> now I'm really going to wipe it off and start over. Let me wipe that off and do it again. Okay, that one was already top coated. So, and this nail is a little bit smaller, so. Okay. There. There, I think that looks pretty awesome. So I am going to cure that and we'll come right back. Okay, and then the final thing to do is to add a top coat. And that just gets rid of all the tackiness and seals in that gel, which doesn't really matter because it's already cured. I'll just cure that top coat and we'll come right back. So here is the finished look. I hope you like this because um, I'm really loving it. <laughs> um, so uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.